I only went out for a walk and finally concluded to stay out till sundown, for going out, I found, was really going in. <laughs> I, love, I love that quote by John Muir, one of my biggest inspirations. Having the chance to go out and paint in the John Muir wilderness is fantastic. was so cold I mean we hiked up to that lake just couldn't resist getting in there I think there was therapeutic or benefits about getting my body immersed in that cold icy lake um, obviously I had to put my clothes out to dry so <laughs> this is I uh, got to do my painting in the only dry things that I had on it's not my usual attire You know, that time of evening, you know, just before sundown, the light is just licking the tops of the mountain there, throwing those big blue-purple shadows. And in the shadows, you've got the sky reflecting back. So it's just stunning to see the warm, kind of hazy evening light, trying to capture that on the rocks in the background, and then that vibrant blue in the shadow just bouncing back. such an absolute delight to be able to see these places with my own eyes, let alone have the opportunity to actually capture them in paint. And doing such a fast painting like this, <laughs> you know, 45 minutes, just intense focus, just looking, mixing the colour on the, on the actual canvas itself. I remember just looking, painting, looking, painting, just not overthinking it, using my intuition, really just to capture those colors I saw in front of me. Ah, oh, so amazing. My passion for plein air painting has just been revitalized by this little trip up to the Mount Whitney portal. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> 